Greetings everybody, it's Abana. I'm back here and uh, what the hell is happening and why is all the construct guns on, uh, in front of me? Well, that's simple. I'm actually going to sell them. Yes, I know, shocker. I mean, I know some of you are going to type, Please, Mike, I don't sell you stuff. Well, I mean, I do, I, I really do like these construct guns. I do, but uh, here's the thing. While the Combiner Wars Devastator isn't that bad of a figure, he is um, going to some other uh, sellers. And same to all the construction guns because I start to get a little bit tired of uh, all these Hasbro stuff. But if you are interested to pick these guys up, all of them, even the small legends ones, you can always go to my eBay's, my eBay's. Uh, website, a uh, website. I mean, oh god. Oh, are we really gonna start off with this, huh? Anyway, you can go down down the link in the description where you go coming to the eBay if you also have permission by your parents to do it, and you can also um, either bid or actually buy it right away. But trust me, it's costly. But it's actually kind of neat because I, unlike the the first time I actually reviewed this, which was kind of unprofessional, I actually am pretty much prepared to actually review them. And if you are um, gonna wonder if you're gonna remember those uh, vehicles' names, well, yeah and no. Same. This is a uh, unscripted uh, review, and. Uh, as for this um, box, go check out the first review. I'm not going to do the same thing over and over again. But, this card is still around, just a little bit weathered, and yeah, we are already talking about this, so let's focus on a bit of all these construct guns. We first off with the one from Revenge of the Fallen. Now, let's get to the... Uh, the point where we are just gonna ramp up. While the Revenge of the Fallen construction cones aren't that bad, the character wise were a um, little bit mixed. You see, yet yeah, in the movie, this there were two sort of construction cones. One of them were kind of the ones that were trying to ambush and get an Optimus Prime, or even trying to get to attack all the militaries, and the other were the Combining Devastator. Which basically, they're all clones. But, this is not a review just to, uh, criti to criticize the movie. This might be a separate video. Maybe, maybe not, I don't know. But now let's talk about all the constructor cons. Start off with Overload. Doesn't appear in the movie, but it's important to the Devastator Scratch. Whatever. High Tower. Also another weird ass. Construct Counts, that is named from a uh, police school character. Yeah. Whatever. At least we got the studio series stuff, which I am actually very surprised. But we'll get there soon enough in the future. Mixmaster. Small. Very acceptable. Oops. Okay, the issue. The plastic, well, not that bad. It's getting a little bit annoying to... Uh, Now, Rampage. Same as the uh, deluxe one, Rampage is not that bad. Or Skipjack, depending on which one. Yep. Regular one. Doesn't count. Doesn't matter. Now, Long Haul. Big ass uh, dump truck. Awesome. But it's not awesome. Well. Yeah. Does this count as a uh, on the a uh, little bit uh, unnecessary pivot? I don't know. Ellie, kind of what twist? Take it off. No, screw it. Then we have uh, scavenger. Yeah, this is the reason why I want to sell it. Not because I want to sell it to scam you, but uh, also because I want you all to just have the robot. Oh, for crying out loud. Hold on. Now, Scrapper. Did also appear in the film, but just in one uh, shot. 
whatever. He was also the leader, but who really cares about the Revenge of the Fallen the Scrapper anyway? Hold on. Yeah, let's get into the bigger stuff. Now, this Rampage. Back then, he was really impressive, uh, Deluxe figure. Not gonna lie. And I did something else that nobody ever has done. A little bit of custom paint, yeah, not that fine, but hey, at least it looks more decent than the actual color. This boring ass mustard yellow. Well, this uh, little bit of uh, spring, it gets a little bit annoying. It's not, which is also a feature in robot mode, but in vehicle mode, it's annoying. But you can also get more detail about the smokes there. The engine, the back, and the ones that you also would find in other bulldozers, which is also the robot hands, which also go on a hinge. Oh, another feature you can also do, just um, hold on. There go. you can move this arm up and down. Yes, you can also do it with the peg, perhaps, but it also is not that much annoying. At least it moves properly than just happening. Now, well, next up, Mixmaster. To be honest, I really like this uh, Mixmaster. Maybe not so much in ro so much as the robot mode, but vehicle mode is really nice. And you also get a feature that is also pretty much as every single uh, mix truck. You can. Uh, Fall down, and it now looks like it. This uh, cement truck is literally producing all the cement, which is the reason why these constructicons are named constructicons. But the uh, yeah, I'm just uh, rambling on my ass now. Ah oh, well, it's probably the last time you guy you will see these guys in this um twenty twenty oh nine style. Not that bad, but what is also impressive is the purple win windows, which is really impressive, but also unnecessary because you can, um, yeah, kibble, kibble me tender, and the bottom, hmm, the canister, and now for the big guy himself, which is not that big at all. Yes, it's um. Well, a scoop, a big uh, cr scooper right here, which is also this guy's name, Demolisher. And uh, yeah, this may be also an issue with Revenge of the Fallen. They all, when well, they look diff, they have different colors. They are pretty much same character ish. You see, this is the problem with Revenge of the Fallen. Well, they are pretty nice as look to look at they are pretty much the same and probably also most confusing of the sets but the cool feature about this is that you can move and they and the whole feature can actually yeah, turn it around like it a real vehicle would do and the uh, the bucket will also tilt up and down and the trays don't move at all. And also, the reason why this is also a little bit stiff, well, before it was pretty loose, but I'll actually tighten up with a dab of super glue. If I can find it. Oh, wait, hold on. Don't worry, it's nothing. Just a dab of super glue, and I fix it. If you want to fix yours, ask you of Parents for permission because leave the professionals to me. Leaves. Oh boy. Okay, I'm just gonna transform these legend figures and the uh, Reds of Fallen fingers uh, in one just a uh, cut screen because you pretty much see. If you've seen uh, one review, you see them all. Also, to note, this is the reason why I didn't want to shoot it with the. Uh, the robot mode. Scout. 
Scrapper don't have his head. Looks like Prime took it. Goddamn you, Prime. And now you got the Legend the Devastator EC collect collectible uh, combiner in his robot mode, or at least his combine mode. And why I said EC? Well, this uh, Legend. Legend figure Devastator is actually from a Revenge of the Fallen EC pack, which is literally what it says EC. Every single seven combined uh, constructed cons in one box, which is then really, really sweet back then, but now, yeah, this guy has been through hell. Not only that, because uh, my young self might have screwed him up. Sure you get him? Well, he's not that bad. At least get the new one. And probably also save your money for something better, but... Uh, we'll take that uh, a little bit uh, later on. But for now... Devastator as a character is himself. He looks freaking badass, but uh, he also has a big hunch. Well, this is a kind of the reason why the producers and Michael Bay think that... Wow. Oh yeah, one note. This Devastator has been glue, but sometimes it does not uh, perfect it at all. So, um... Yeah, screw that one. Anyway, as the other ones... Well, um, I mean, he looks really nice, but uh, this is the reason. Because they show him like this, he cannot attack properly or just looks kind of goofy. But it's a good kind of goof. But yeah, his uh, arms on a hinge joint, no. Well, he has to swivel, but yeah. Well, it's a kind of neat loose swivel. His fingers move too, and uh, side panels. Okay, now I'm desperate. Okay, his head is also on a ball joint, which you can also look around, but it doesn't look really nice. He doesn't have a waist swivel, and the legs are on just a swivel and hinge, but I'm not gonna move it. So, uh, well, size comparison, perhaps. Um, crime. They're a little bit superior voice class figure. Well, oh well. Okay, now you are just um, out of my way. That's all for this guy because um, if you want this guy, well, just comment down in the uh, contact me on eBay if you want. But um, yeah, I feel like the, the high risk is that you don't not want this figure. But these guys, that is not even combinable. Perhaps will do. Also a quick note, uh, this says uh, Rampage uh, can also split his leg so you can have more possibility, but yeah, it's just ridiculous, And but uh, yeah, sorry Joby, BEAUTIFUL SPRAY! <laughs> Here we have the monstrous mode, pretty flipping sweet and actually really clever red engineering. While he is kind of uh, like a roller skater, at least he can move well, sometimes. And he also have a, a bice ratcheted uh, swivels. You can have some uh, butterfly joint. His um, shovel can also. It's basically like the vehicle mold, but uh, at least now they are hands. And if you want him to stand up, well, if you want something a little bit cooler. I saw this in a YouTube video once. Don't judge. It's actually a, a pretty accurate. With a spooky, spooky. Uh, what am I doing? <laughs> this is just this, this review. It's not gonna get more views than I buy. I'm just a fucking fuck. And here we have Mixmaster in his robot mode. And yeah, it's uh, really. Um, yeah, this looks actually pretty fucking badass, but, uh, 
Yeah, it's so <laughs> This is what I actually did like in Power Transport. Well, they look actually kind of, uh, they would uh, fall apart. At least they're fucking funny as hell. At least you can fucking, well, look them real fucking goofy. But they also look pretty spooky and insect-like. That's what actually is a big point to uh, Bay films. And uh, also, you can also do the uh, cannon shot, which you can also buy, uh, yeah, the back cable and such. But who really gives a damn nowadays? I mean, Bay form of this, Bay form of that. For God's sake, guys, uh, watch something better than just Bay formers. Except for the, but the uh, boundary film that's actually uh, the best one ever. Uh, it's kind of comparable to uh, the uh, Transformers the movie. I mean, really, the movie. That title is just fucking stupid. Oh well. Um, yeah, this is kind of a little bit triple. Uh, yeah, sorry. Sorry, Rampage! Um, okay, let's move around. Ah. Okay, then you just, um... I'll be back. Okay, um... I may have tired this joint a bit too much. Yikes! And these hands, they were kind of broken before, so there's nothing new about these hands in joint. Yeah, well, the price may be, uh, by no price in eBay, might be a little bit ridiculous. At least they are, I maybe say that they really don't count and they just are like free items. But uh, I will fix uh, this joint later. But uh, what a neat thing is that you can actually did uh, peg this uh, mushroom peg in this slot, so you can actually support the wheel a little bit too, a little bit more, so you can actually have more angler to actually replicate the the one scene where before a jet fire cuts him in half. Yeah, it's kind of brutal. Oh, well, I'm just gonna leave him like this. <laughs> actually, this is a kind of video to, to be honest. I mean, it's actually in a spooky yeah uh, holiday, the spooky season. Ooh. Yep. Um. Thank you all so much for watching, and then like and subscribe. I'm just kidding. I'm just gonna put it right there. So we can actually go on to the other ones. But before, here we are Prime. Are we done yet? Okay. He'll be back. In the meantime, take a look to get the Gundam Unicorn. Yes, uh, just standing there like a uh, uh, goddamn Minecraft Steve. Hmm. Okay, I'm back. Um, my apologies for this uh, weird ass uh, in the uh, beginning. I mean, uh, I didn't put too much effort in that, but uh, I pretty much think that the uh, Bunko Bay didn't either. So I put more effort than he does. But anyway, as I showed you that card, here's also the uh, very. Um, uh, uh, long. Structure booklet. Chill ass, bro. <laughs> okay, this is. <laughs> oh boy. Just need a little bit glass of water before I move on. Anyway, now let's go on to the Combiner Wars uh, construct accounts, which are more superior than the Revenge of the Fallen. By any means, the Studio Series line may be a, a better competitor and more superior than the Revenge of the Fallen line, but uh, who knows? I mean, so far, one of them, which is literally a uh, scrap metal, is literally a, a remold and a re some repaint slash remold of a uh, scrapper here, which is one of my uh, 
one of the favorite constructor guns, which is literally a scavenger. No, not scrapper. Scrapper is the the boat, the big ass uh, scooping truck. While well, uh, this uh, the digger scavenger may not be the most uh, famous of them all, they his his possibility is pretty much sweet, and his transformation is really, really fun. And I really do love this uh, construct con. I mean, look at the paintouts that I actually did. I uh, put uh, some effort in to be more like in line of uh, the Unite Warriors Devastator. But uh, I want to have him in his uh, regular Hasbro self. Unlike his um, Stu bulldozer counterpart. Bone Crusher, which also was uh, later on uh, shown in the live action film Transformers in 2007, where he literally get his head ripped off from Optimus Prime. Yeah, I can't believe his name is literally in the first movie, but he was not even a constructed gun. What was Michael Bay f even thinking? Oh well. I mean, every time Hasbro we tried to come up with every single time with these names. I mean, they took these uh, tra first Transformers G1 toys from Microware Man line and even GoBots. Yeah, it's kind of complicated backstory. But yeah. But unlike the. What I meant that his uh, counterpart, I didn't mean the uh, vehicle mode. His vehicle mode it looks back really, really sweet. And I actually gave him some silver paint apps, which actually to give him more, well, some kind of realistic look, than just plain as green. At least he has his Decepticon symbol on the on his uh, shovel, huh? Yeah, not the really um, the greatest plan to put a literally their banner. Literally, their Decepticon symbol. I mean, the Autobots will literally find them really easily. Oh, wow. Now, let's take a look at the the confusing part of them. Um, but also a new uh, change to Mixmaster. Which is literally his um, mixer truck. Which is the new, the 2015's updated version. Which is actually kind of accurate to nowadays. I mean, there's... Sure... Like mixed master always been like yeah, regular dumping truck and uh, mixer trucks, where the literal like uh, barrel is uh, literally in, in the degree of the air, showing how he it just spins. Well, is this what the uh, feeling it uh, feel like when you talk about with other script, huh? Well, it's not new to me, so who would guess? But uh, yeah, many have complained that this uh, Mixmaster is uh, the front end. The front is literally where the back is. But uh, yeah, as I stated before in my original review, it's kind of accurate to the nowadays uh, Mixer trucks. And now let, let's take a look at the crane, which is Hook. Where he is no longer named of a Decepticon that we are known from a big dude from uh, the police school. But he actually is the, the kind of medic in the group. I said maybe. I'm not sure because I'm not uh, I did not grow up with G1. But I do really like his crane mode. The only issue is that... Uh, yeah, it doesn't swivel or hinges, which is kind of, wow. Asper, what are you thinking? Uh, well, uh, let's take a look at the fifth counterpart, which is long haul, with all of these accessories, which you can also take out, which all form to the Devastator mode. The gun. Uh, well, at least it's not a ripoff from Hugh Adams' review. I'm just gonna 
remove all these uh, customizable uh, pieces and put them on the side so we can talk about long haul. This big uh, dumping truck is a uh, one behemoth. Oh boy. And sadly you cannot just bring down the the back section where you can dump everything but his wheels are actually really big and you can actually uh, drive him around a little bit difficult now because uh, these guys are actually going back to the box but yeah I really love this uh, big dude he's so enormous but I do love him and now let's take a look at Scrapper the leader of the group which to my knowledge it's a really nice uh, kind of the boulders tractor because every kind of uh, construction uh, sites always have one of these to actually clean up every single scrap or remains from a building and just uh, drive them away like so and just well let's just push them out of the way I can't imagine what he would do next like for example, he can also uh, dump every single uh, useless uh, constructor cons out of the way with my hand just shoving in the fucking screen and just drive away. What kind of segue is this? Yay! Really boring, low effort videos. Woohoo! Okay. I'm just uh, joking around. No, I'm not joking around at all. It's actually kind of true, but uh, oh, uh, I mean, uh, to be fair, sometimes life gets you in the way, and uh, you are kind of making really, really low effort when it comes to constructing cons, and you are trying to sell some of your figurines and toys that you really cared about, but really you. Sometimes your childhood has some bad taste. It should have actually gone some Bandai vinyls. Like, for example, Godzilla. Yeah, that, Bandai... I kind of went a little bit spoiled by Bandai, but really... Who wouldn't? I mean, sure, I do like it, Transformers, but now I'm... It wasn't my childhood back then. My childhood was more like, well... For example, um, Bionicle. He has Innovation Mode, Optimus Prime as a comparison. Yes, not the uh, the new, uh, newest Studio Series one, because uh, this is a little bit easier for me to actually a uh, size comparison. I probably let Oh, Bumbly Scare like. Yeah, this is also scrap, but it's more like battle damage. And guess what? These two are also gonna be sold. Links in the description. And if you're actually going to uh, buy them right away, you get these two S figures for free. The Legend Prime and Bumblebee. The Gold Bug. If you think I'm lying, no. Alright. Well, that's about it. They're vehicle mode, robot mode time, off screen. Or just a stop motion, I don't know. Okay, I may not uh, show everything around, but uh, uh, every transformator, but this is uh, the reason why I said uh, that the uh, scavenger is more than his uh, uh, bulldozer counterpart. It's because his waist, well. Not that difficult to tap in, but uh, holy crap. Well, see, I mean, this tab does, does not just tap in that much, so. But you also have to be careful to actually tap in, and, uh, and even then, it's kind of not worth it. The one from the G9 Forest is a little bit better, but if you want just Devastator, yeah, I just don't care about this. Bone Crusher. Okay, I've transformed all of these construct accounts and uh, Unicorn Gundam, if you can back up a little bit. Oops. Oh well, never mind. Anyway, here we have the uh, construct cons in the robot mode. Uh, let me 
Okay. And we have them in their robot mode. And surprisingly, they are pretty much G1, but more stylized to the combined voice line. But here's also what I also learned. In the uh, combined voice comic, it uh, stated that uh, Scrapper was kind of pretty much dead, and the uh, Prowl was replaced to be in the to be the head of Devastator, and Hook was literally becoming the leg. Yeah, let that sink into you. Prowl as Devastator. Huh. I wonder. I wonder what happened to uh, Scrapper. But oh well. I I I'm not gonna keep a watch of them anymore because uh, I'm not. Well, I do, but uh, I'm not gonna keep it on around it anytime anymore. But uh, whew, yeah, what am I gonna say about the? These guys. I mean, I already talked about them before, but a uh, little bit short now. I mean, their um, first time around, they actually look awesome, and now they still actually are great. But yeah, age will show you that they're the more than ex execution could have been a little bit. Uh, well, the joints and stuff. Executed a little bit better, and seeing that the uh, Horitomi have solu uh, solved the the issue with all of them, with having Scrapper and Elbow, having Long Haul, the Beefcake, which I just gonna put you right here, which he just have a sideways elbow meme here, but he just um. Doesn't feel like a big threat, just goofy. Or the other uh, Unite Warriors one, he actually not only has a sideways elbows, he actually has biceps swivels and an elbow. Let that sink into you. And. Ah, uh, 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 now I stutter, goddammit. A, a Constructicon, like Long Haul from Combined Wars, in Unite Warriors, just have. An elbow. I mean, there's other kids, but uh, see now, uh, yeah, I'm not gonna get them. And then we have long haul, like these two, just yeah, elbow. Yeah, the kids nowadays just don't pretty much care about these guys. So uh, yeah, if you want, no, just just a reminder. I'm not just hating them because they are bad toys. I'm just judging them because uh, they could have been something better. But yeah, at least they have pivots, all of them. Even, uh... Oops. Hold on. Beep. Beep. Boing. That sounded like a pig. And here's also something to... Here's something to note. This guy, his leg was kind of a little bit loose before, but I actually tied it up with a dab of soup glue and bim bada boom. What did I get? A little bit tighter, but also really solid joints. And as for posability, knee, ball joint, ball joint, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're saving that to Devastator, which we should do right before we uh, talk about uh, the weapons. Not their original G1 weapons, but uh, yeah, let's just give them all their weapons, which I will give Long Haul the beef, the beefiest. I'll give Mixmaster the chest because he's likely most the big barrel, and it's actually pretty funny because he has two cannons on the top of him. And I will give a Scrapper this rifle. Don't ask me why, but he actually does look more neat with it. Then we have these wings, which you also can do one on the side, but I would do a, a Hawkeye move. If I am actually a kind of professional. Hold on. There we go. 
And now, if you look here, uh, where these, where the hands are, where these uh, turret guys will do, oops. Scavenger, you should not have the, oh god, I did a mistake. Oops. And wait, scavengers should have the uh, right hands. Hold on, it's just uh, my kind of issue, but uh, no worries. Also to note, these red ones, they weren't uh, originally there. I did actually paint them with, if I can find it. God damn it, why do I have so much stuff? Hold on. If you're wondering how I actually did this, I actually did it. I took a uh, Gundam marker pen with a metallic red. I apply a little bit, hold on, a little bit here, and I actually give it a more reddish look. Oops. No, don't worry. It will come off for me easily. Maybe not on you. I don't know. But yeah. All of them having the weapons look flipping nice. But now, let's not talk about these guys. Let's talk about Devastator! Constructicons! Mercy to Devastator! First off, I'm just gonna tap these legs right now. So we are actually doing the one step first. And if you are kind of wondering if you are sure of follow the instructions, well, uh, kind of skip around because sometimes instructions aren't uh, always needful, especially when it comes to uh, Hasbro or Takara. They are kind of crappy. Mostly Transformer stuff. The others, like Bandai, is mostly alright. But as you can see now, yeah. The big boy is gonna come in now. Right now I'm just gonna tap these uh, wings right away so I don't need to uh, struggle a little bit beforehand. So uh, just gonna. Yeah. Uh, okay, this will do. Uh, there we go. Okay, now to the next one, which is literally the, uh, the left arm, and I'm just gonna. Yeah, the tab in there, they were kind of, uh, on a long haul, were kind of broken, so, uh, yeah, if you get this figure, that is literally mine. Keep in mind that uh, mine are kind of, have some issues, some examples, one broken part, but, uh, anyway, yeah. What I also did here is that I also painted these fits. Fists literal purple instead of just having them black hands like uh, the official, well, the original copy did. Uh, before it was all painted, it was literal black. Well, this is not that bad, but I did not like it. But, uh, yep, here we are, Devastator, here's robot mode, and uh, yeah. Hello, big dude. We made again. And this is also one. Consider this is one big Decepticon. It's kind of a trouble to actually keep in it. Oh boy. I had to raise my goddamn camera to do this. Chilly lighting, I know, but uh, hey, what are you gonna do when this is actually an apartment when I have a wrong kind of lights? This light will eat. This light wouldn't even help me either. But uh, let's get into the real positive here. While the uh, six uh, robots aren't together aren't that impressive, the combiner himself, holy crap, he's impressive. Well, I also stated before, but I really do like him. Well, in separate, not that much, but together they form a supreme and anime, an awesome action figure. Yeah, sure, he doesn't have articulated fingers, which uh, the Unicron and other Transformers uh, did before. I mean, you can also get the DNA 
a DNA third party upgrade kits. But he does work with other 